So Gwen read Ichthyr is lazy, and she says, well, of course I'm going to draw. Oh, wait, 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 we can't see you. Can't see you. Oh. Hold the camera. Yes. <laughs> so it's like that. It's having, having a, a nap. It's a bit lazy. Yeah. Welcome to Podheim, to Rock's Valheim podcast. Let's give him the business. Hey everybody, today is September 13th, 2022. I'm your host, Jurak the Viking, and joining me today are my fellow Vikings, Gwen the Shield Maiden. Hello. Shield Maiden, Morning Darkness. Hi. We also have Viking Vaste. Hello. We have Bambi the Shield Maiden. Hi there. And joining us for the first time is Viking Crimson. Hi there. Hey, Yay. Crimson. So good to have you on the podcast today. Here's all of us. Hey, everybody. First time. If you're just listening to this, we're doing uh, video streams of all of our faces here. So almost definitely, all. almost all. Uh, well, we have a picture for Bambi there. You get to see her. And I actually yeah. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if you're just listening and you want to check uh, out what we're doing on camera, tune in to the video feed on YouTube or uh, the uh, podcast. Uh, we have the video version of the podcast, too, you can check out. Uh, let's start off with Crimson. Crimson, can you tell everybody uh, what part of the world you're from? Yeah, I, I was born in Slovakia, but now I live in Czech Republic. Oh, nice. And... I like to ask everybody where they get their name from. Like, how did you decide that that was going to be your name to play in the game or your online alias on Discord? How did you come up with Crimson? Yeah, that one's from uh, an album from my favorite group, Hammerfall. So, yeah, they had an album called Crimson Thunder. So I'm using that one. Oh, I nice. usually can go by just by Crimson, but sometimes the... I add a thunder as well if it requires a unique name. Oh, nice. So I guess nice. that's a pretty good album. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to check it out. I'm not sure if I listened to that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good uh, one. Yeah. MD, you want to follow up with some questions for Crimson? So I have some questions and then I have a question that's not on the list. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa, we're going off script already. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, so what are some of your favorite, so what were some of your favorite games before you discovered Valheim? Yeah, I, play, I played all kinds of stuff. I played, a lot, like, Age of Empires 2 I played a lot. And also Assassin's Creed games. And I sunk a lot of hours in Terraria. Oh, okay. yeah, it was my most played game before Valheim. <laughs> yeah, but there is also, like, a lot of AFK time on, like, AFK farm and stuff like that, so who knows? Hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and before that, I just got really into cooperative games, so all kinds of survival games and stuff like that. Okay, cool. And then, how did you discover Valheim? Yeah, actually, my uh, friend and flatmate uh, like stumbled upon the trailer, which had uh, Amor Amard in it. So yeah, and he was also like fan of metal, so. He, he, he was like, yeah, I, I, you need to see this. You need to play this game. It's got to be awesome. It has metal in the trailer. <laughs> 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 and then this might be putting too much pressure on you, but are you going to play guitar for us today? I could. <laughs> Ooh, that would <laughs> <Nice>. be awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know that when I first, when I first joined the server, uh, the, and I'd be up late because my, my, my kid was still a newborn. And Crimson would be on the chat and sometimes he would just like go AFK in the game and start playing guitar. And I'm like, this is so cool. I love this. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, sure. And, and w when did you join us, Crimson? When the did server? you join the, the servers? Yeah. Yeah, it was 16th November. 
Oh wow! Okay, Ooh, so remember the really? exact day. <laughs> yeah, I just nice. looked up the number a couple days ago. <laughs> he was getting ready for the podcast. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got your resume <laughs> sorted, be everything. Podcast, but yeah, I, I was digging up some numbers for the whole client. So yeah, nice. And what can, convinced you to join Jurok servers? Well, uh, it was like the same story all over again. We played with friends like two times, like once when he did, when we discovered it, and the second time when uh, Heart and Home came. Mm -hmm. And then we finished, we killed Yaglos, and there was not really much to do. So, yeah, I stumbled upon some of York's videos and decided to join. Nice. Yeah, very similar story to, to a lot of people, I guess. Um, yeah. And what has been your favorite experience or, or moment uh, uh, playing on Jurok servers? That's a lot of fun. Like, I joined, I actually joined the server because uh, I wanted to, like, you know, not play alone. So, like, all the time with the people there going through, like, all kinds of events. I really enjoy the, the folding events now with all the building, like, multiple people being at the same time. Yeah, let me, let, let me explain yeah. that real quick to everyone. He said the folding events he really enjoys. That's every two weeks on the resource server. Uh, we reset it, has a brand new map, brand new seed, so they can explore a new world and get new resources. But we called, uh, just one one day I decided to call it the Great Folding because it's a flat world and it's like folding up. But then everybody kept repeating it and it just became a thing. So yeah, now we call it the Great Folding. And <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty fun event. It seems like we bring out a lot of people every two weeks uh, when that goes down. It's a fun tradition. Yep. And and tell us, Crimson, what is your what is your title? For the great folding events. Yeah, it's the architect. Yeah, I don't even know who came up with this. What <laughs> what, what is it again? Can you the architect? The, oh, the architect. Oh, yeah. because you're probably really involved with the building uh, of the new hotel that we put up, so all the players have a place to uh, call home and have a bed and a portal to get out in the world, right? Yeah, I'm coming up with those layouts for it as well. So yeah. Yeah, actually, nice. so you know, man with a plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. And pretty much almost every week, you've been kind of leading the whole rebuild of the well, the destruction, then the rebuild of this uh, player hotel that we have on the resource server. And uh, and you and I are working on a little uh, video to kind of document some of that process. And last time, I think a couple of weeks ago, you said it had been how many now? Like forty. Or thirty times. That maybe we've done maybe reaching to... thirty, yeah. No. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I don't really remember. It was like over twenty for sure. Like mm. twenty two, yeah. twenty three, maybe. Or maybe like actually around twenty, maybe. Well, yeah, it's yeah. pretty amazing. That has been couple since then, so <laughs> it's pretty ama 25. amazing that you guys tear down the old hotel and then build a brand new one up, a little bit different design each time. But and sometimes you go out of your way to make it look e nice too. It's not just like a basic box structure. You guys go out of your way to make it look nice too. And so you rebuild the hotel every two weeks. And I, I remember I had a couple of YouTube commenters say, "Oh, such a waste that you you know you tef you tear down that really nice hotel every two weeks." And I say, "No, but they love it because then they get to refine the design and do something different, and it brings everybody together to do something fun." So yeah, I mean, it's kind of an event. It's not just like a a wasted building, you know. Yeah, yeah. I actually have a new design for the for the Monday. So, yeah. Oh, nice. We'll get yeah, we. One. Yeah, you've been experimenting quite a bit the last couple of weeks, coming up yeah. with uh, different shapes of the building and so on. It's really cool. Yeah. Well, we'll go on to some announcements, and I want to say, of course, welcome back, Gwen. We missed you last week. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Gwen. Good to be back. Yeah. And uh, uh, we just another announcement. We have a uh, or I have a permanent, you know, my, my main server is a vanilla server and it's it's uh, a permanent server. It's actually celebrating its one year anniversary this month on the uh, well, the 20th for the when I opened it up to the community. And I'm going to be starting next month in October, a permanent, heavily modded server. So if you really like to try new content, there's so many great modders out there. We're going to find as many content mods as we can to add to that server. So 
Yes, morning. I see you. What do you want to say? <laughs> With the finger. I got a point over there. The finger though. of ten- <laughs> intention. So I, I've been invited to a, a heavily modded server, and there's a guy who's making a mod that's a food fighting mod. <laughs> what? So you can throw oh, no. food at each other? Is it? <laughs> oh, what? yes. Please don't. I, I, I'm testing yes. mods right now. We are doing the postcard and I'm still testing mods, so please don't. So I, <laughs> you can I've see, if you check the podcast, it. you can see my eyes going around because I'm watching all the configs and stuff while doing the podcast. So no, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not even released to public yet. Like he hasn't finished it, but... But when it comes out, and I, I did ask for no. if I could specifically use it. <laughs> I'm sure he, like, he's going to post it would... the day before. That's the love <laughs> I have, so. Well, yeah, there is a bot like out there. Would kill you or anything like that, but, like, he's actively making it. So, like, if, if you if throw an onion at someone, yeah, then you become oh uh, blinded. Ooh, it's, it's adding probably. effects, oh, too. Like nice. By onion. We need yeah. that. <laughs> Poisoned by a turnip. I mean, it's just hilarious. Absolutely. I've seen the mod that allows you to th- uh, throw stones uh, at people, and it just does damage. But yeah, one where you can throw food, and they have different effects for each food. That would be awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vaste, Digivaste. Let me see where is he? Right down there. Digivaste down there. Put that on the list. <laughs> He's not looking happy now. (laughs) I thought you liked PvP that day. (laughs) PvP with food. Oh, that's that's the kind of PvP that I could get on board with. I thought you would like that, Gwen. Oh my gosh, can you imagine with the ice cream? No, no, we're not throwing ice cream. We're not wasting ice cream. No. Oh, so you didn't watch my feast competition entry then? (laughs) We want to throw ice cream as well. Oh, ice cream. You did what with the ice creams? Last day you're gonna get in trouble. Uh, you need to visit it. I won't say anything. <laughs> well, uh, let's talk about some Valheim news because last week we talked about Valheim probably going to release a news update after we recorded the podcast, and they did like almost immediately. <laughs> Was it either later that day or the next day? They released some Valheim news over on Twitter. Uh, let me switch over so. We could talk about it. There it is. There's the Twitter post. This one was uh, Spiral Stairs, and it looks like it's in some ruins. I can zoom in a little bit there. Uh, I did a whole video on this where I brightened it up. You could take a look and try to see as much detail as you can. I zoom really far into those stairs. So check out that video. And uh, Gwen, what other news did they release just today before the podcast a few hours before? Yes. So Iron Gate are starting to get used to releasing news before Podheim, I feel, because they uh, posted on Steam today uh, and they have not only confirmed, you know, they they just had a a quick line about the new patch, the patch that came out, what, two weeks ago about um, uh, the fixing the issue of uh, crashes and world resets. Uh, but more excitingly, they have posted more videos and more teasers for the Mistland. Yeah. And some really unexpected stuff. I don't know about you, but like this first image that we will see, I was totally not expecting that. Um, but we can do you want uh, should I just read the post for those yeah, who, are, go for who it. are listening as well? Right. So I'm gonna skip through the first um thing. I can you scroll up a bit. Oh, yep. Uh, no, no, up, up, up. There's one paragraph in there that has, yeah, okay. So I'm going to start on the second paragraph. I'm going to skip the the fix, the issue fix one, because it's not uh, news news. But they say that, um, so they want to give us some development updates. And they say, if you follow us on Twitter, you might have heard the whispers that we, we've been working on boss-related stuff. This is still in progress. And while we want the boss to be a surprise for you when you first play, we can safely say that it will be something that you haven't seen in Valheim before. And I don't know, I must have missed some of that um, boss news because I I know people were wondering about the uh, about the bosses, if we would have a boss with the Mistlands, and this seems to kind of confirm it. So we will get a new boss with the Mistlands, which is nice. Um and the rest of the post then goes on to talking about some of the teasers. So 
You might have read that we came to the conclusion that some of the steps in the Mislands progression weren't quite in the weren't quite in the right order. Um, and that link is to a post that Grimco um, did on Twitter, uh, where he actually confirms that they, as a result of this, they realized that the progression wasn't quite logical. So they reviewed it, and then they, in his Twitter post, he says that he, um, they have now added two uh, materials and one build item. And so if we go back to that Steam community post, they kind of allude to that. They say, da, da, da. oh, scroll back up a bit. Thank you very much. Uh, da, da, da. We have put in a lot of work to create nice and creepy dungeons for the biome, but we realized that they didn't serve as much of a progression purpose, nor feel as rewarding as we wanted them to. So after some discussion, we added a special extractor item used for processing and a new core, the black core. We'd love to read your guesses on what they'll be used for. And then you have this image. So yeah, let's talk about things this. To unpack. Yeah, so there's a few things to unpack. Um, this image is obviously showing the that new black core, which it's is very amazing. cool. It looks, it's, it's got this uh, really bright pink, almost purple um, light. And so that's a new item. Um, but... Beyond that, they talk about this new extractor item that we'll get. And again, referring back to Graham Kors tweet, he did mention two new materials that they have recently added. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm getting a serious Eye of Sauron vibe from this. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, when they talk mostly about Black Core, in a lot of games, they end up with the purple light. Mm. It's always like that. Like that. We need more of that color. No, right? we don't. No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you already have so your banner and you are not using it, so no. <laughs> <laughs> no more I... color, just sadness forever <laughs> and lots of noises for Basti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what? Let the so... wolf howl again. <laughs> Well, if we think about what the uh, regular Certling core um, uh, does for the game, it, one of the most magical things in the game is the portal, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we yep. need it to make a portal and we need it to make a few other things uh, like, like the smelter and uh, yeah. what's, what's the other thing? Um, the the smelter, the, the, the kiln. The kiln. The um, black well, furnace yeah. and the wars. Yeah. yeah, the very important fireworks. Oh, right. Decoration. <laughs> yeah, great decoration. I wonder what kind of fireworks this thing will make if you throw Ooh, this into oh, a wow. fire. Yes. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Like a dragon firework in the sky or something. <gasps> and it's <laughs> really Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Smoke screen. Maybe I just gave them an idea to do before they release it. <laughs> or just purple fireworks. So we get multicolored fireworks. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, so the regular Shirtling Core. The, bla the blast furnace, the bonfire, the charcoal kiln, the portal, the smelter, the stone oven, and the ward. Can't yeah. forget the ward. It's a very magical oh, yeah. little oh. carving, right? Mm -hmm. So what yeah. what are we going to get with the uh, the new black core? Uh, an upgraded portal, uh, an upgraded uh, ward, or something I, similar to those I two items? I know we've already been told no, but I, I can't imagine, like, I can't help but imagining, like, a staff that helps you do spells or something like that mm -hmm. well it wasn't a definite no it was a oh yeah it would be nice to have more magic in valheim but <laughs> let's see if we want to give that magic to players or not but i i feel i think there was it wasn't a definite no it was a oh we probably need to discuss it with richard yeah so maybe uh, they, but I, not... I would guess yeah I was just going to say, it sounds like they've decided on something for it <laughs> that they're teasing yeah. with. And my guess is the new forge and forge upgrade, the forge caller that we have. Um, I suspect that you will need probably that black, new black core to build it. You will that's need a new material to build it because that's the next kind of uh, workbench right. or forge upgrade, right? Or yeah. is it like a whole new workstation? So like the artisan yeah. table needed the motor tiers. It would make sense for um, 
this new forge, Miss Lan's forge, to need something. It, I was come here. That too, but it's not the right color. Because usually they try to match colors and stuff, right? Well, the kiln is pretty gray. Mm hmm. Yeah. And speaking of color, pink is Yagulus' color. So I wonder if it's like some sort of hint. Hmm. Oh, so this is and, a yellow and, thing? Cause, well, no, I don't think it's a, the yellow thing, but if you think about the the shaman, the yellow, like, uh, fueling shaman magic, all of that is pink, and this thing is pink. I wonder if there's a link between, between all these items and the type of magic that is harnessed, because um, when we interviewed Grimcore for his birthday, like, six months ago, we actually asked him the question, right? We had this whole discussion about magic. And he was saying that uh, there's different types of magic within Valheim. Some of it um, is, and it's magic that's coming from different sources and harnessed in different ways by different uh, creatures. So, for example, the um, Great Dwarf Shamans, it's this kind of green nat nature focused magic. And then and then the sham the yeah, uh, Yagluth and the fueling shamans are like a different type of magic. So I wonder if the the color is not kind of tying this new item back to Yagluth and like in the continuity of that whole law around Yagluth and the fuelings. That could be a quite interesting idea. I yeah. think this might be a misprotection. I think I I told I told I talk about this in the thing stream, but. Maybe they are using the because we have the war with the normal core, certain core. So and we are going to have a lot of miss in the misslands. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they they do something like that for the instead of the war that protects the base of opening doors and terrain modification, one that limits the the miss from entering the zone. So you have ah, like you can build the sort of misslands without the miss there. Like a weather protection type of Something item? like that, yes. Mm. Yeah. I, I still suspect that the Yagla thing is going to be used to make that new forge. Because, it you know, you kill the boss, you get the next level of technology. But maybe this yeah. uh, black core is required as well. And if the Sertling core has, what, like seven or eight different uses, and you know, plus the fireworks, maybe this will have a lot of different uses. Maybe some of the mm -hmm. ones we've yeah. talked about and others. But we also have the artisan table that is used for three things, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It will be sad to not have more use for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well when... the other thing that I noted, uh, just to, to close the loop on this, yeah. is if you look at the, the stand and just the, the whole picture where it's taken, it's obviously an item that you will have to find in dungeons. Uh, because it's, it's on the same stand as the settling course that you find in the burial chambers. Um, and if you look in the background and around, this doesn't look like a player built base. This looks more like a dungeon. So I yeah. think it's going to be a, a similar thing to the certain cause where you're you're going to have to go in the new dungeons in the Mistlands to find this um, the cause, um, and uh, and yeah, build you know, get access to the next level of technology or weapons. Yeah, absolutely. I've I have a video that uh, so I've released one video already on the uh, what was it. Uh, well, the next thing we're going to be talking about here coming up soon, mm -hmm. already before the podcast recording today, but I'm going to be doing one on this and I'm brightening up the whole image and you can see the dungeon like this totally mm -hmm. looks like a dungeon in the brightened image that I that I did. Yeah. And another thing that we glossed over that they talk about mm. is that new extractor item. Yep. And I, I'm also in the process of editing a video that I'll post. And by the <laughs> time this podcast uh, comes out, my video will be out as well. And um, around that, I think. Again, it's probably alluding, um, and like just thinking of extractor, it just makes me think of the pickaxe that you need to mine the metals that you need to build stuff. So I have a feeling that this new special ex extractor that you'll get with maybe the black cores and you, maybe it's the something that you need to craft on that this new forge um, will allow you to access a new build material or some sort of new material that you'll need for further crafting. Um, and as for we the know, black we marble. To, exactly, that's what I was thinking, yeah. right? Because we we know we've we've got the black marble, but how do you access that? Do you need to to mine the rocks, or 
Yeah. Maybe the black metal pickaxe will finally arrive. <laughs> I, was that. I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Am I the only one that finds the word uh, words and creepy very, very disturbing <laughs> and scary? <Yeah. laughs> Dungeons have always been a bit creepy, haven't they? Yeah. I feel like they're getting creepier yeah. and creepier as well. And they have a lot of spiders. No spiders! <laughs> <Busty. Yeah. laughs> well, what else are they talking about here, Gwen? Cool. Uh, so they say another thing we can show you is something you'll notice straight away if you decide to make a new character when going into the Mistlands. Vikings were known for their fancy hairstyles, so we wanted to add a couple more options for you. Is there any particular hairstyle you would like to see? And here we Mohawks. see an image. <laughs> I want a mohawk. I want yeah. a Viking mohawk. <laughs> Come on, it was his historically accurate mohawk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you, if you zoom into the picture, you see that the those yeah, two characters, they're all dressed pretty normal. Like one one of them has the, what's that, the leather, leather armor, yeah. I think. And then the other one has the uh, troll leather armor. But you mm -hmm. can see that there's like new hairstyles and new beard styles as well. Uh, the thing that I noted in that is it looks like they have small braids. So yeah. they're adding a bit more kind of, yeah. yeah, like braids and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, it's just, yeah, I guess it's, it's a nice little addition. Uh, it's not groundbreaking, but it is nice to have a bit more character personalization because especially when you're playing on a multiplayer server like ours, where there's like hundreds of people after a while, it's like, oh, oh, you've got this hairstyle, this color. All right. Yeah. You look like 50 other people. <laughs> we actually have a few twins on the server where they <laughs> actually have exactly the same character, uh, you know, same twins. hair color. Yeah, so it's nice to have a few more options, I guess. I like what I, they, they say here is, is there any particular hairstyle you would like to see? So may, maybe they'll take suggestions. How about the Jirok beard? You need a Jirok beard oh, option in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need the long, yeah, uh, long bambi hair. Multicolor <laughs> hair, you know, so you, yeah. Um, yeah. Another thing I will say is uh, not that we get to take credit for this at all, but another podcast request has been met. <laughs> and there is oh, more than true, one true, in true. this very post. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Are you talking Told about her. the next thing or about uh -huh. the hair? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get ready for this next thing. So they say fancy hair also needs fancy clothes. You've if you've got a lot of feathers lying around, you'll be able to use them to craft a cape luxurious enough to make Hugin jealous. Is this going to be a new favorite garment, perhaps? And the new feather cape that I predicted months ago. Dun, dun, that I dun. said I would love to get the feather cape so that yeah. it mitigates fall damage. And I feel like this is this is it. This is it, right? Yeah. Well, we don't know. Well, we don't the know what do. We don't know. I but that man, might I can be tell no. you. I can tell you right. Sorry, Sebastian. Uh, I was gonna say I can tell you right now. After this has been posted, every single player out there who's like raring to go has made a thousand wooden arrows and is out hunting birds. Yeah. How much you want to oh. bet? <laughs> yes. How much yeah. you want to bet? You need, you need a big stockpile of feathers. This looks like it's gonna yeah. take a lot of feathers to make. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. So, so if you remember, because I'm pretty sure I mentioned it on a Podheim episode at least, but I mentioned it so many times um, in so many different occasions that um, it would be nice to have a few more capes that help with, uh, that have certain properties. Um, and I feel like if they're bringing this and the fact that they're bringing this out when it's the Mistlands update and Mistlands, when you look at it, it's like loads of cliffs, really high cliffs. And also because they launched this, um, just after the frost cave update, which is also, you know, uh, it's, it's very mm -hmm. deep mm -hmm. and you get, you fall a lot and that's why you've got the Fenris armor to help you jump and so on. I am willing to bet that this feather cape is going to mitigate, um, fall damage um yeah. and it's going to be yeah that's going to be the main use of it in the new mistlands with all the cliffs but also i can hear the cheers of all the builders <laughs> all the builders <laughs> who are rallying and you know saluting this new item because now they don't need to constantly eat food 
and be over 100 health just in case they fall from the scaffolding of their build. So You need to eat food for that! That's what I'm doing wrong! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But now maybe you won't need to. Maybe like this takes half of the fall damage and so you don't need to eat as, you know, high uh, level foods. Yeah, but if they fall off the waterfall platform, not even this will save them. Well, maybe yeah. you fly. Maybe maybe this cape will make you fly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Actual flight? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have. They also uh, secretly posted a uh, reverse shot of this cape in the mm -hmm. actual news post, and I dug around and pulled it up. Let's see if I can get it in here. Here you go. Yeah. Check that yep. out. That's actually the back of the cape there. It's not in the original news post itself when you look through this post, but if you mm -hmm. dig through, you can find in the code, there's mm -hmm. this, this reverse shot. You see all the feathers there. It's got kind of a blue tinge to it. I like that. It looks that. like Hugin. It does it look does. like Hugin. It looks like someone skipped Hugin. Oh, and it's oh, oh. <laughs> or like the Valkyrie who carries you in. Yeah. 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 And it's I love that. Awful. If you see the, the feathers or, uh, as the materials, they are all black, no matter yeah. the bird you kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. I, I love, too, there's a, all the way around the neck is like a feather necklace. goes around. Mm -hmm. uh, in my video where Very I cover cool. the cape, I brighten it, and you can see it goes all the way around. Oh, um, this is going to be my next Valheim cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> I know this is an okay. awesome cosplay item. Uh, so let's see what else we got in here, Gwen. Oh. Uh, so they say, we know many of you are looking forward to the Mistlands and we are grateful for your continued patience. Although we are not quite ready to set a date, we promise it is coming and that we're working hard to make sure it's worth the wait. Yep, Mistlands and they coming. got a little build of the month <laughs> here. Yeah, and we've got a really cool build of the month from JJ the Builder 89 um who has a youtube channel and post great content amazing builds yeah. and uh yeah he's built an amazing castle on top of a mountain which reminds me a lot of the one that uh kung ragnar on our server built yeah that mm -hmm. i i toured with him i did a, a, a video about it um <laughs> but yeah any any castle on the top of a mountain always looks awesome and this one is huge it's pretty it's amazing yeah it's pretty big it's got this really kind of medieval slash fantasy style it's yeah i, I wonder how much instances and how many stones it took <laughs> oh my goodness oh what, yeah. a lot a lot a lot <laughs> yeah and i just want to take a quick break from the show to share with you one of my sponsors the grim frost an amazing company that sells really really cool viking products they have over a thousand different modern and historical viking products if you're interested you should check them out i have a link in the description or you can go to my website jirockthevikingcom/grimfrost now back to the show well, uh, let's talk about some of the new videos that we got up over the last week in case anybody has missed them. So uh, I did last week, uh, well, this weekend, I did a 10K YouTube subscription celebration live stream. That's why you're seeing all of our pretty faces here and here and, and down there and over there, uh, <laughs> because we finally did a face reveal in that stream. So we decided, yeah, let's continue it and, and do it for our podcast and future videos that's fun. And then last week, uh, we also had a big event on the server where we did a feast table build competition. So people build up a big feast and they decorated their tables in amazing, amazing ways. I think almost every build did some little different techniques. And if you gr take a few techniques from each of those builds, oh my goodness, it's it'd be even a more amazing feast builds uh, from last week. You guys all remember that, right? What did you think of some of those entries? There were a lot of things to watch there, in all of them. Too many details. A lot of things. <laughs> Too many. Man, Vashde, what's with the complaints today? <laughs> I'm tired. Like cranky today. <laughs> yes, I, I am. This cranky is Vashde. a bad day. <laughs> Office day is a bad day. That's my thing. Mm. Uh, so that, so that was a super fun um, uh, build competition. A little bit different than normally. Normally, we're building structures in our build competitions, but this one was a little bit different. 
And uh, I was really surprised by some of the things we got. And and even some people built brand new structures around their feast. Uh, like Kondo did like this little outdoor ga- uh, gazebo resort, almost like a Hawaiian or some kind of, you know, feel for it. And, and he even had uh, servers. Remember, he put ar- armor stands and he somehow yeah. got little little shields yeah. and plates of food mounted that in their hands. Mind. That was that, that was, was pretty so awesome. Very funny. Yeah. Felt like a survivor uh, feast table. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I think I read his post. It was it mentioned something about like a, a Japanese pagoda more um right. style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Japanese pagoda. That that actually is more accurate. And it was beautiful design. Beautiful. Yeah. Gwen, what about what, what about you? What you what what videos are you working on or have you got up in the last week? Oh, me? Me? Gwen, yeah. <laughs> which 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 of the Gwen, which of the you. other? <laughs> okay. huh? Gwen Gwen the Morning Darkness or Gwen the Shield Maiden? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Gwen. Yeah, so I I've uh, I've recorded a, a well, I thought it would be a quick um video about today's news that I'm halfway through editing so i'm hoping that after this i will be able to post it uh today so by the time you listen to this podheim that video will have been out and you will have probably heard all about the news anyway um and yeah i might do a, a, a no map stream at some point this week uh before i go away again this weekend and uh i i have so many videos that are on the go that i need to edit um, so yeah, provided I can find the time between work and other things to do that, I'll have a couple of, uh, videos. I'm also working on a kind of shortened version of that feast decoration stream that I did with morning darkness a couple of <laughs> weeks ago that ended up lasting four hours, only yeah. half of which were actually decorating the table anyway. So, uh, so yeah, so I'll, the centipede, yeah, the centerpiece that Busty thought it was a centipede. Um, but yeah, <laughs> well, I like yesterday. that giant sugar cookie you made. Yeah, so I'll let you talk about that, MD, because that's uh, <laughs> that's a, a, a stream that we did together. It, it was, but you you streamed it too. You get to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we did. I did do a surprise video with Gwen. I was streaming on Twitch. She was streaming on YouTube. And um, it was very funny because it was supposed to be this like cozy, short thing that started at one o'clock my time. And I think we got started at like an hour and a half later. Three. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And like it went for two hours. Yeah, I I had lots of uh, issues with this new OBS update. Anyway, I won't go into the details, but lots of um, technical issues that I hadn't planned for. And so, so yeah, so I wasn't able to start my stream until much later on. And um, and the baby woke yeah, up but, right as you started. Yeah, ex- basically. Basically, every stream that we do together is, uh, it, you know, it's cursed. <gasps> It's going to be chaos. with lots of issues. It's going to be chaotic. Uh, that makes it more yeah, fun, gonna though. Someone's going to die. Exactly. If everything <laughs> goes as planned, it's boring. you got to have some yeah. errors and some frantic stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. We well, we provide all the videos. frantic. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. So, we did the surprise video with Gwen. And then... Um, Earlier last week, uh, we finally made it up into the mountains. We found some crazy silver deposits. It's the Motor Mountain, and it's it was the the fullest no map uh, adventure that I've streamed thus far. We had let me see here. I think we had five or six people. It was great. It was absolutely delightful and absolutely chaotic. I mean, the chaos just kept ramping. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the chaos factor. I don't know. That doesn't. <laughs> um, and then uh, still working on a treehouse kitchen lighthouse combination on someone else's <laughs> server. Did you say treehouse? <laughs> Not course, a day. Of course, there's a treehouse. It's like <laughs> at this point we don't question it anymore. It's like, oh, and he's building something. Oh yeah, it's gonna be on a treehouse, obviously. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> ne- ne- next month we're having a Halloween graveyard competition. Is it's it gonna, gonna be, be a, tree. a graveyard in a tree? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's gonna be oh. a shocker when it's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
I haven't even started on that. I don't know if I'm going to enter that part of the competition. Uh, yes, I, do. I don't have any original ideas, mm -hmm. so I'm intimidated. Anyway, um, <laughs> and then I did record the feast table competition with Jirok, and so that was fun. I've done a couple of build tours of my audience uh, on my on my channel, and I had one guy who came, you know, who had asked me to tour his village. And he has early onset Parkinson's mm. and the amount of love and dedication and focus it took to build this little village. You could feel it. It was, you could really feel it, it was so cool. Uh, and then the other one that I did was another member in, in my, in my Joker. Uh, he, he has a village that he has built in the middle of a valley that's inside it's surrounded by mountains and it's in the the it's mostly in the meadows and it's like sixty eight thousand instances in the oh, middle of the village wow. oh no wow is that it, one frame a half a frame per second when you move around in there so i have a house within the village and he's asked me to come in and decorate it and it Rise my computer every time I try to go and decorate. <laughs> oh, no. and, and, and this is the place where the story happened where I was killed by a troll sound alert, but we're not going to go into that, you know. I do like troll friends. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the background there. <laughs> you just fed um, the troll. <laughs> and then it's looking like I'm going to be doing a 500 follower celebration soon. I'm like 11 away. Wow. wow. Nice. As a kitty? Where, well, yep. Where I will play something other than Valheim and uh, dress up <laughs> as a cat and play the end of Stray. <laughs> is your, yeah. is your previous stream where you dressed up as a kitty for that Stray, is that available still on Twi Twitch? I can check. I oh, think so. I'll have to check. <laughs> I haven't then seen she's going to uh, remove it. <laughs> <laughs> She oh, look like your baby <laughs> dressed up as a cat as well. <laughs> um, oh, no. Well, yeah, congratulations on uh, coming up on your 500. That's awesome. That is yeah. a big milestone. Yeah. And I, I was, because uh, while I was trying to sort out my issues when we tried to do this stream together, I did join Twitch and join voice chat and chatted a bit and so the world of twitch is uh very new to me but in this one stream you got like four different raids i yeah. think like one yeah. after the other and it you was, had so many people engaging it was really cool it was a beautiful thing yeah all right so it looks like the vod is no longer available but i do have it recorded and saved up on youtube oh nice yeah nice well, let's talk about some updates that have been going on on our server. I'll just start because, of course, I mentioned earlier the uh, feast table build competition. Um, if you haven't seen that, just the live videos uh, on on my channel. You can find that one there. And I mentioned that we have next month a Halloween graveyard build competition coming up that I'm really looking forward to because I did a Halloween video, which... I mentioned on the 10 K live stream, uh, over the weekend, only about 2000 people have watched it. It somehow slipped by everybody. And, you know, now I've got more than 10,000 subscribers. I know many of you haven't seen it. So please check that out. The Halloween video from last year, I just do a little graveyard. I actually, for anybody who's building a graveyard, that video includes a bunch of lighting tips and mm -hmm. really good ones. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you really, Check that out. And, you know, because a lot of right now, everybody's using the swamp key to light. There's actually a lot of other ways to light. And I use that graveyard video that I did last year has a whole bunch of lighting techniques. So check that out if you're interested. And uh, MD, what other server news do we have? Well, we actually have quite a few people joining us this week. Uh, a couple of them are from the... 10k stream they won the one of the trivia questions so they were able to to come in uh so this week we would like to uh thank for joining us and welcome magni selly i think selly uh sec sec uh scare tail scare tail yes i've got it i've got it thank <laughs> you <laughs> but let's go 
<laughs> uh, Knuckheim, Dice Gods, Captain Fossil, and we would like to welcome back Ikea and Mad Michael. Yay! Yeah, absolutely. Yay! So good to have you guys back playing with us. Awesome community members. And that, 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 that happens a lot, though. We, we have a lot of members who they take a break. They got stuff going on in real life or, you know, some other game grabs their attention for a little while. But, you know, they always a lot of them seem drawn back to the community, which is awesome. It just means that <laughs> something is working and, and they want to come back and, and be a part of it. So uh, it's awesome to see. Yeah. And, and also he's finishing summer for most of the server. Yeah, I suspect we'll get a. Uh, Quite a few more people back uh, once the summer's ending, because I know uh, myself yeah. included, um, Gwen and, and many others, we're, we're so busy during the summer with all the uh, activities because the weather's so nice. But Gwen, that Viking outfit I bought is so heavy that I want <laughs> Viking outfit uh, events during the winter so I could actually wear it because it's too hot <laughs> to put on during the summer. There's no way. I mean... I mean, Jurok, my dear Jurok, you tried to wear a wool tunic yes. without an under tunic. Well, that would and make me even like, oh, hotter. It's itchy and scratchy and warm. Of course, <laughs> because you're wearing it over your skin because you need to wear like another layer in between. Oh, yeah, and another linen, layer. Linen will make it. Yeah, no, but linen is, linen is like a second skin. It's so soft and it's so cool. Actually, linen is the best thing to wear in the winter if you still want to be a bit historically accurate. So yeah, so as I told you, if you want to do Viking events in the summer, you need to get yourself a nice linen under tunic and maybe also a nice linen over tunic with like fancy embroidery and things. Where can I get a really nice pair of historically accurate Viking shorts? <laughs> <laughs> you, they're called braids and they're linen too. Well, as long as they're and, short, so I have, you know, some yeah, air. <laughs> So you normally would, wouldn't just wear them as shorts, but you can. And I'm sure Vikings, if it was getting really hot, they probably, yeah, wore that. So, <laughs> Well, look, it's Valheim after you die, right? <laughs> you could wear that, yeah. Tira. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're not like that. I mean, the Valheim ones are like boxers. The, the braids, like medieval braids, they look more like giant nappies. Mm. If you've seen any, if you've looked at any uh, manuscripts, like medieval manuscripts, you see, like, if you see pictures of peasants in the fields and so on, and they're wearing those kind of weird white giant pants, uh, short ones, that, that's braids. And they're mm. basically, uh, yeah, they're, they're really roomy, and you tie them around your waist. Uh, so they're meant to be, like, oversized. Uh, so they fit, like, any size, I guess. And, yeah, it, it looks like giant nappies. What, what, I got I'm the visual minded. <laughs> I, Bambi, I'll send you a picture of mine because I, I, when I wear them, I'm like, oh my God, this is so weird. I look like a giant baby. <laughs> That's what I was just going to say. I look like a baby because I got the uh, yeah. the wool, uh, like MC Hammer pants, the, the big baggy. Oh, yeah, pants. those are cool. What if, I just, what if I just cut them at the knee and let them flop around? Don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'll, I'll find something and else. Smiling so much, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Vaste, uh, you had some stuff on the uh, you 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 know Vaste is one of our yeah. admins. Uh, Vaste, what uh, events did you do on the server this last week? Okay, there is if a mention because I actually didn't do that much in that one. Is the 10K community build the studio, the YouTube studio mm. for oh, you? Yes. Oh yeah. So anybody who hasn't you. seen uh the stream yet, the the 10k sub, a uh, a bunch of players uh built um little uh studio sets. And which one did you build, Vaste? I built a sign actually. I was in charge of the sign. <laughs> oh, the, the, Holly, the Hollyheim sign. Yes. Yeah, the Hollyheim oh. sign. Yeah. But I wanted to thank you everyone that participate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a lot of people. A lot of people uh, shining in from the community, so thank you guys, everyone. It was so I, uh, awesome. I, <laughs> I actually built uh, the kitchen set and the dressing room. Oh, amazing. nice. Man, that, amazing. both amazing. And that, that dressing room with the reflection, with the armor stand on the other side, you even had the Odin cape and Odin cowl on one of them 
So like, I, it looked like it was me in my outfit when I sat down in front of that win- mirror. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> Actually, we won that on um, build competition. So we put it in mm-hmm. there because we wanted to be vanilla fr- friendly. Yeah. So you cannot put uh, silver behind the glass for a mirror. So yeah, we yeah. had to figure out something else. And I was like, well, let's do armor stands. <laughs> Jirok, you really need to do to go back and look at all the details because I know we had limited time on the yeah. 10k stream, so you yes. didn't see all the details. But also, you need to do a video about it because again, it was all yeah. vanilla friendly, and the attention to detail and just the yeah, the, the creativity is was amazing. So I can probably yeah, well do a video on who worked on that. Yeah, I can probably on do a video set. on yeah. each set. Yeah, there's so much mm-hmm. detail in each one. I do a video on, but I am yeah. this week on Thursday. I'm going away vacation, my wedding anniversary, 28 years, 28 wow. years. <laughs> That's love. And That's we're, amazing. Yeah. So I won't That's be around. more than what you've been alive, Vaste, right? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? It's more. Probably more than you've, yeah. you've been alive. I've been married longer more. than Digi Vaste <laughs> has been a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, well, cool. Uh, let's see. Um, what we the got? other event was with my other character, Ares, who likes oh, right. to troll the players. Uh, in the, uh, early in the folding, he built a bridge because the, the hotel this time is on an island. I have it, and it has a smaller island next to it. So he built a bridge, but no one knew why for. And oh. I seen Friday. It was Friday. Everyone saw why. So if a few of a few orbs of a small waves of mobs tried to attack the the spawn, the mm-hmm. hotel. Did you force or, a, hotel. Did you basically do like a force a bridge battle? Yes. Oh, that's because so cool. There's yeah. the scene is there's not that much space in the island of the hotel, so I needed to add uh. space to actually make sense. <laughs> and the bridge was for that and they did a, a really cool defense with the spikes it was nice. like oh, re- nice. a really good roleplay defense That's and awesome. they win Oh, nice. It's yeah. very historically accurate, which is why I got right. excited because bridge battles were really a thing if you control the bridge Yeah, but the not access, ice bridge winning. Ice bridge, yeah. I don't see oh, that you see not an ice, bridge. ice bridge Was it an well, ice bridge? Yeah, because I use one of the Frostcape pieces that I can stand. Wow. It's, it's a piece you can, you can use one piece as the whole, you know, pr- platform for the bridge. Oh. So you doesn't have to build multiple pieces all the way across, mm-hmm. you know, so at, at, with admin commands, you can stretch out the ice floor from the ice cave, make it really long like a bridge. I seen the bridge has like 10 piece at most, and it's l- really long. It's fast. It's long, it's long, so that helps a lot to reduce distances over on the hotel and for the fight. And I test a new system that seems to work well. I put the boss in a box, and the structural box, waiting for the for them to load every everyone loading while I was spawning smaller mobs, easier ones. And um, when they reach the part of the the boss of the ray. I just so, uh, delete all the pieces of the box, and it was mostly fully low, which helped a lot with the most difficult part. Mm. Nice. And they oh, yeah. want a pet. Their resource hotel now. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. which uh, which pet did they get over there? A two star growth. Oh, a two star <laughs> growth as a pet. Wow, that thing must tear everything up as a pet. <laughs> no. It doesn't attack anything, and because it's in the island, there's nothing to aggro. Mm, okay. So unless they, unless aggro. they drag him ha- across the uh, the world, right? Yeah, but they try to trap it, so I spawn a not tame one oh. in punishment. <laughs> right, so right. So they leave it there. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, so... What do you, you think of... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, I was going to ask Crimson, how do you feel about this uh, new resident to the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's cool idea. It's freaking people out. <laughs> it freaked me not... out. I turned around, I was like, ah! Yeah, a lot of them shop when it's spawned. Yeah, it won't do any damage here because the island is barely big enough for the hotel itself, so there is nothing spawning there really. 
Yeah. And it would have to like see outside of the hotel to attack anything anyway. So mm -hmm. it's closed in, so it should be fine. Well, I was just going to say too, so it's just an example of, you know, if you play on our servers, we have a bunch of admins and, you know, every once in a while they like to run events. We usually have one or two a week at least. And uh, yeah, lots of fun. Uh, let's see. We're going to go on though and talk about uh, things we'd like to see changed or added to Valheim. Crimson, when you think about things that uh, you might like to see changed or added, uh, you know, they have a lot of time still to develop the game. What is something you'd love to see changed or added? Oh, yeah, there, yeah, I guess there are like, lots of like small, small things, like I don't know, like moon phases or whatnot, but I would really like to see more viable mounts than, than Loxis because they are like Ooh. at the beginning, they are really, really slow. And yeah. if you can't really use them in the planes because of the, all the mosquitoes there and they just kill them so fast. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I had to like only like transfer one like across an island and it was, yeah, it was painful. <laughs> so yeah, yeah like so more viable mounts. Either fight faster so they can like outrun the mosquitoes and you don't really have to worry about them. Or I, I don't know, like yeah, something that is more viable before you get like 80 or 100 skill on, on, uh, on riding. Do, do you have what any, kind of, uh, yeah, I was just going to ask, go ahead, go ahead and you ask, you're going to ask the same <laughs> thing, I think. Yeah. What, what kind of animal or, or creature would you imagine for that? That's what I feel wolves might be good. Maybe like add something new with the mistlands that would work. The what? I don't know. Or maybe, or maybe just make locks is more viable. That could work as well. Mm. Mm. You, you want to, you like... want to ride that little, that little, uh. Bunny rabbit, don't the you? Tick? Grab him by the ears. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that would be so fun. No. Yeah. Uh, or the tick. Yeah, Gwen fire. wants to ride the uh, the tick. No, no. <laughs> I wish that slash would be cool. I think the tick rides you, though, right? <laughs> it attaches Ew. like a face hugger, right. and then it's like. Uh, <laughs> no. oh, that would be so cool. Well, morning darkness. No. Um, what would you like to see changed or added? I don't know. No. Well, what's one of your favorites from the past? How about I know I know what you want. You want to see rant. You know how they have the the ruins that spawn around the world in various places. Rand you want to see random tree houses spawned around the world that you can turn <laughs> into your own tree house. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're like, no, oh, I found that. another tree house. That. This is amazing. Actually, actually, here we go. Here we go. I want more trees that are indestructible. Different uh, kinds, different varieties. That's what I want. Mm. I want more trees that can't be chopped down. <laughs> so you could build more tree houses that aren't in danger, right? <laughs> uh -huh. But oh, we, nice. we kind of have already like uh, the those little cabins that are elevated in the swamps. Swamps? Yep. Yeah, the Jorga ones. Little, they're kind different. of a little bit tree yeah. houses. Yeah, they're just like like on, on, on legs. They're just you, yeah. They're just houses on stilts. That's different. Yeah, see stilts. That's oh, the word okay. I was trying to think of. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Well, well, Bambi, what would you like to see changed or added? Yeah, as I said earlier, this is getting harder every week. But I would love to see uh, our uh, gardening grow and have fruit uh, trees we can mm. plant and harvest. Yeah, we don't have there's any trees that. that bear fruit, do we? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, a lot. Get out of, uh, get out of the room. <laughs> I think Gorth invaded her living room. It's like, tell him there's a mod for that. <laughs> <laughs> in my bedroom. It's the only place I can get out of the sound. Gorth is in your bedroom? Mm. <laughs> this is getting strange. Uh, <laughs> Just keep it family friendly, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it, it is weird now that I think about it. We don't have any uh, fruit bearing trees. Everything is just like a little plant on the ground or a bush or something. Yeah, fruit yeah, trees like would be awesome. Apples would be great. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Imagine that you have to like climb the tree to get those apples. You might be able to use them those <laughs> and then, other capes. And then morning darkness could build a house around. The, uh, the fruit bearing part of it and she could charge oh, admission yeah. she could charge admission to get into her house 
to pick the fruit. <laughs> I could make I could make a, um, a treehouse that's all apple pie all the time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, uh, we my might have get, yeah. Uh, okay, we might have to get a, an apple mod for the modis server <laughs> just for for that. Yeah. <laughs> Only if we are allowed also the mod to do food fights. Food so fights. Like yep. It's already approved, I uh, think, with all of us. Last thing, you're creating even more work for yourself. What are you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to, to show in the show, so <laughs> let's leave it like that. So Why? what do you want to see added or changed, Vaste? I want to see something added because Mistran is coming. Yep. They this is yes. a, a great sore. I want a silver variant of the great sword. Oh, a silver oh, variation silver of the great, great sword. sword. So you yeah. can do that uh, spirit damage, right? Yeah, um, because most of the silver we weapons look the best for me. I think they are the best. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, I don't remember the name, but one of the most known great swords of World of Warcraft or Warcraft in general is the frost sword of the... Oh, yeah, frost, no. Oh, not, not. No, yeah. Frostner is the hammer yeah, in, is in the game. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, like, I don't know, it's a similar name, I think. Yeah, Frostmourne. From the Frostmourne. There yeah, it Frostmourne. Is. Something yeah. like that, it will be right. I, I would like that. Well, yeah, they've, they've introduced a few weapons and they've shown us already. Um, be, I'm really yeah. excited to see what else is coming. Mm -hmm. well, and, and can't you say the rest of what you have on the script, Vashte? <laughs> it's true. And they have to add to the great sword as a special attack, the spin attack. So you wanna you wanna be like Garen from League of Legends? Yes, yes. Oh yes. So you're yes. Just yes. Spinning around. Like, like, of the, spin, the spin to win. So not just one spin, but like five spins. Yeah, like mo mm -hmm. like keep the press the bottom press and keep spinning. <laughs> you gotta get a Until lot of stamina you fall for off that. The cliff. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, we have a lot of goals for that. <laughs> and we might get, might get uh, more stamina food. Yeah, uh, definitely. There's a mod for that. <laughs> <laughs> for the spin attack. That is approved already, so no. Sure. It, it is approved already. <laughs> well, Gwen, what would you like to see changed or added? Well, you know what? This week I'm giving the mo the devs a break because they what? granted me one of my wishes uh -huh. to have a feather cape. So, yeah, I'll give them uh, this week off. Oh, 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 wow. Yeah, it is amazing that you specifically <laughs> requested that and there it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder, I was trying to remember, I know I mentioned it at least once on Podheim, but I was wondering, did I... Did we actually mention it while on stream with some of the devs? Because no, 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 it's just on part no, time. no, it's only but no, on but I, I mentioned it a couple of times. Like it, oh, seriously, maybe. for at least a year, I've been talking about. Oh, I really want, and I think yeah, uh, each time the, the a builder thing came up. I think I heard it a few yeah. times in in the Polheim, but all of them were when someone like, or a new hammer or a builder set or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's got actually the the whole feather cape thing actually has I think roots in Norse mythology as well. It's not just you know cool looking. Mm. I think they actually did look at um, some of the the mythology and lore and stories and so on. Mm. Um, so I, I really like that. The again going back to the roots of uh, Viking mythology culture and so on to come up with some of those ideas. Yeah, I think I saw that feather cape on the show Vikings, so it must be historically accurate. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> oh, um, well, my my, my uh, things changed or added. I think it's been mentioned by some of you before, and seeing that new cape just makes me want it even more now. I want and and because I've been ordering clothes, uh, I, I ordered a whole outfit for. Uh, my own shield maiden, uh, she wanted uh, her shield maiden outfit, so she got one. And of course, it's very hot and itchy. <laughs> she says we have to get a linen. <laughs> because we have to get the linen to version. Wear linen on the tunic. Yes. <laughs> well, no, she has that, but she wants something just linen because that that um, oh yeah, uh, 
that uh, wool is very, very heavy and hot, but more Viking clothes, just not armor. Just give us Viking clothes so we can, go, you know, hang out. We can do our building, our celebrating, our hanging out, um, all the stuff in something um, that just looks fun. And maybe, you know, we can change the color of that stuff and we mm -hmm. don't all look alike wearing padded armor while we tend our gardens and <laughs> build our houses and stuff. So, yeah. More Viking clothes. I'm ordering on Grimfrost. I'm getting to see all the different clothes they have. Oh, yeah. Their stuff is so cool. And when we go down um, to Southern California for our anniversary, we're going to a Viking festival. It's actually kind of why we were, you know, going to go some more, more exotic for us, you know, outside of California because we've done a lot in California, obviously. Um, but uh, they had a Viking festival. It's one of the biggest in the United States. So I was like, well, we're definitely going to that so, for our anniversary, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll get some uh, some clothes that aren't so hot down there. Some some lighter versions of the uh, of outfits. Linen. Yes, can't go wrong with linen. It's so comfortable and and not cotton. It's actually. <laughs> No, linen is actually much better than cotton. Uh, but yeah. both are good, natural fibers, and they breathe more than you know polyester. Uh, but linen is um, has is very absorbent, so it will absorb humidity very well. Um, and so it's great for if it's really hot and sweaty. Um, it will make you feel much cleaner than if you're marinating in some synthetic uh, outfit. So yeah, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're coming down to the end. We're actually going to do a little our About Us segment and stick around because right after that, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game that you can play on a website. We're going to theme it to Valheim. And so stick around for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, there's, but, there's no um, trivia this week. Yes, no trivia because oh. we're going to try this uh, online game uh, this week instead. I think it's going to take up. A lot of time, I'm probably going to have to just cut it short at some point because everybody will want to keep playing it for another hour after I stop the podcast. <laughs> Look at Gwen. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, so about us this week, we're going to do favorite comedy TV shows. And if you have any th reasons why or any funny stories to tell while watching it, or maybe you've watched the show multiple times, whatever you want to tell us about it. Uh, Morning Darkness, why don't you tell us what's your favorite comedy TV show? Uh, Chris, you start with me. I'm not really into comedy centric shows. Mm. Um, I I don't like humor that makes fun of other people or mm. ideas or um, yeah. I I just I or where people act inexplicably stupid. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of comedy of, that of, is. Not like, that bad. Right, but yeah, but like like a lot of the comedy shows where it's funny because they're in really embarrassing, painful situations. That's just <laughs> no, painful that, yeah. for me. It just hurts. Like so it hurts to watch those those situations. Uh -huh. I don't know if I have like an oh. overdeveloped sense of empathy or something, but like, oh god, what I don't have a really good example because I don't really watch a lot of things, but I, I think I've watched a clip of like meet the fuckers like a really long time mm -hmm. ago like just hurt it just <laughs> was painful i was just like oh, no oh oh you know like stuff like that it just it just hurts it, it is you not can't cringy. watch the office then you're gonna no. anything <laughs> cringy it, yeah oh, it hurts it hurts um like even you know not to uh, not to make fun of anyone or, or like say that it's bad but like even like nerd culture you would think i would like big bang theory but they make fun of nerds and i don't like it i don't mm. like that they make fun of autistic people i don't like that like like there's just a lot there to unpack but for me it's like i, I don't i don't i don't like it when they make fun of people well, you know that the worst part of the big bang theory is that it's actually quite accurate <laughs> I mean, I am no. one of those people, and it's quite accurate. I can tell you, they they that crazy. Well, I don't, I don't want to get into the philosophy of no, no, comedy no, no. too Sorry. much, but the okay. basics behind the, the philosophy of comedy are that you point out the by reenacting and bringing to the foreground 
the absurdity of something, whether somebody's getting hurt or being made fun of, you bring out the absurdity and you laugh at it because you know that they don't intentionally mean it. It's not really their opinion. It's a joke. And it, and it says, look at how absurdist this is to do this for real and really have that opinion would be wrong. And that's sort of the bright side of comedy and where, you know, some, some comedians actually even point that out that, you know, Hey, look, this is a joke and this is why, right. So they go to that extra step, but even those who don't go to that extra step to explain that, that's what it is bringing out the absurdity. And when you, when you laugh at it, you're laughing at because of how absurd it is. And it's reminding us that it's absurd for people to really do those things or have those opinions. But that said, Bambi, what is one of your favorite comedy shows? No, I don't want to go into it right here. Morning, no, it's no, no, a no, long no, no. conversation. I was say, my favorite comedian is Eddie Izzard. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have to say, yeah, my favorite is The Big Bang Theory because, like right. Sheldon Cooper, the actor, <laughs> mm-hmm. he does such an amazing job, and I'm uh, an actress myself for a hobby. Yeah, I'm looking at that, and yeah, does an amazing job. And you have then a, we have a, do you have a yeah. favorite scene or or joke that you remember from that show? Oh no, actually, it's just Sheldon Cooper. He just <laughs> makes the show. I love him. You you hate him or you love him, and I love him. I truly love him. Yeah. <laughs> and in the Netherlands, we have a, a show as well that's called The Lice Mother. I don't know if you have them in in all around the world in uh in schools like they pick the the children's head for checking for lice we have that in in the netherlands and it's actually a show about uh how teachers uh, are in preschool are yeah it's all made big of course yeah how uh, the life in preschool is for the teachers and yeah it's so so funny and sometimes so accurate accurate about how parents can uh, respond to uh, teachers or how they protect the children or stuff like that it's hilarious Mm, interesting do they dub that in english do you know oh they should because i think it would be a hit all over the world yeah yeah i'll have to look that up see if there is any kind of english version of that so i can actually understand what's going on sounds (laughs) <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. Yeah. Well, because I, I have a few friends that are, are teachers as well, various grade levels, and they I see their posts on Facebook all the time where they say, I can't believe dot, 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 you know, and it usually has something to do with the parents because <laughs> parents are very demanding and, and get into things they don't understand, you know, that the teachers are dealing with every day. Yeah. Yeah. There's one teacher that's really has the the head part, and she just blabs everything out uh, without even thinking about it, and that makes for so many awkward scenes. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. hilarious and shameful at the same time. <laughs> well, Crimson, what about you? Do you have a favorite uh, comedy TV show? It would be Mesh by far. Mesh, I've seen it like Mesh? so many times. Yeah, yeah, that wow. series also. <laughs> So That's that the, was um, the, uh, what was it? Was it the Vietnam War? That, that no, it was the, Korean War. Korean War. That's right. The Korean yes. War. Yeah. It's been so, so long since I've seen it. But do you still like go back and watch old reruns of MASH? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I still go back to it and watch like a couple episodes at least. Oh, that's awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'll go like YouTube videos with some scenes. There aren't many of them, but one can find some. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah, it's nice to see somebody giving some love to an older show like that. I remember yeah, growing I, up with it myself. <laughs> I almost forgot about that, but that was a great comedy show. Mm-hmm. What about you, Vaste? I don't know that one. Sorry. No. What about your uh, your favorite comedy show? Yeah, my favorite comedy sh- comedy show is a lot newer, uh, and it's an anime so. It has a weird name to add to it. So, what's uh, it called? It is called. It's normally called Konosuba, which is a comedy anime with a fantasy world with uh, a lot of cliche. But it's all the stereotypical things and really absurd uh, things that they can do. They do it, and they do it in the good amount. So it's 
I really like it. It's really funny. I've watched it a lot of times already. For the audience, let me let me just spell it out to them. So it's called Konosuba, and it's K O N O S U B A, and it's an anime. That's hmm. that's the short name because yeah, okay. the real name is a lot longer. I know how to say it, but hmm. okay. Well, yeah, they uh, there's probably some clips on YouTube. I imagine, huh? If anybody was there's interested. a lot. Yes. Oh, cool. Gwen, what about you? What's some one of your favorite comedy shows? Um, I'm a big fan of British humor. So a lot of the British shows, uh, comedy shows, I find really funny. But my absolute favorite is The IT Crowd, uh, mm. which is, for me, the better version of what kind of nerd comedy. So Big Bang <laughs> Theory, to me, is a bit too... It's It's funny for a bit. And then after a while, it's kind of, I feel like the humor is a bit repetitive. So I do like Big Bang Theory in small doses, but uh, if uh, there's one show that I can binge watch and just rewatch so many times, it's the IT crowd. Uh, and it's basically, for those who don't know, it's the story of two IT support guys, I guess, who work for a big company and they're literally in the basement and no one knows them. And they're the stereotype of IT nerds, basically. And then you've got uh, the main, uh, another one of the main characters that comes into play who knows nothing about computers and has been hired by this company to manage the IT team and be kind of the client relationship manager, I guess, with the rest of the company. Uh, and the trio just always get into crazy situations or really absurd things happen to them so exactly what you don't like <laughs> md <laughs> so it's all the all the cringe all the ridiculous situation the really embarrassing stuff but that's what makes it funny and a lot of the british humor is very self-deprecating and it's always situations like this where you're like oh my god it's so awkward or oh it's so cringe but it's great at the same time and very funny like mrs bucket right yeah, like it's a lot of the, 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 that sort of humor I like. Um, I like that too, and, yeah. Yeah, and uh, another show that I really like, a more recent one, is um, uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, that's so there was great. A movie, yeah. There was a movie, and then they did like a, a, a TV show. And it's, it's not quite British humor, because uh, uh, it's Taika Waititi and uh, his gang, so they're like uh, from New Zealand. New but Zealand it's a humor. very similar kind of... <laughs> Yeah, it's a similar vibe of humor, and it's it's great. It's again very absurd, and yeah, yeah. That's and British a fun have show. great humor. British have great humor. Well, yeah. So that that takes me to my favorite show, and uh, you know, I love the British Office, and I love Ricky Gervais. He's funny, and he's you know he's an intellectual, and he's you know he, he uses common sense and critical thinking. And I'm just a huge fan of him overall. But what spawned from his version of The Office was the U.S. version of The Office. And I there's nine seasons, and I am on my fifth viewing right now. Mm -hmm. We're in season four, <laughs> but wow. I've gone through the entire nine, all nine seasons four times completely, and now we're on our our fifth uh, viewing. And I can just sit down and watch clips uh which they have a great youtube channel called the office where they do outtakes from the show or they do uh they show uh scenes that were edited out so that's also fun too you get to see, see things that were removed but that show i i, I when i talk with it, my friend about it we say uh whoever you know the, the the writers of that show must have sold their souls to the devil so they could write you know, have the ability to write the funniest comedy that's ever been written, in my opinion. Like, guys, I just don't understand how anybody could could come to that because uh, I've, I've tried other shows that people say, oh, it's great. It's like The Office. You'll love it. No, 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 it's not as good. As a matter of fact, there's only one show that I thought co ever compared to the level of quality of writing of The Office for comedy because it has both comedy and heart, right? There's like a lot of heart in the show as well. And that's Ted Lasso. If anybody's seen Ted Lasso as a show on Apple TV, amazing. And it takes place in England. So if you, um, it'd be interesting to see what Gwen uh, thinks of that, because there's a lot of uh, British and English stuff going on. But it's a, basically the, 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 the premise of that show is an American football coach gets hired to take over a professional 
soccer team in England because the Did owner you of the team before. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't it was remember. You. So I, I feel maybe you mentioned it before because uh, yeah, I get it. I, I've heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the, the owner of the team is this woman whose husband divorced her or they divorced and left her the team. Like in the settlement, she got the, the soccer team and because it was her husband's pride and joy, she just wants to ruin it. So she hires some American football high school coach who's never coached a professional team. And he comes and he has so much heart and he's so funny. He just wins everybody over and he turns the team around and then she starts to love the team. And it's just so much, so good. It's such a great show. I highly recommend it. <laughs> so what, uh, makes you prefer the U S version to the British version of the office then? <laughs> well, well, for one, uh, it, it goes on for nine seasons. So as you start to get to learn the characters, you really, really get to know the characters and they have, mm -hmm. you know, some sad and, 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 you know, moments where they're dealing with really important stuff in their relationship. So it's really, really meaningful when those things happen in the, the original office, it didn't really have those. It's just sort of, you come in, there's some goofy comedy and then you're out and there's a couple of episodes and then the show's done because it doesn't go beyond season one. Mm -hmm. The American version, we get to deal with their problems too. So it's not just this goofy comedy where they're making fun of each other and, and pulling pranks on each other. But then we get to see some of the sadder side that, of like real life stuff that they deal with and how, despite how they tease each other, they come together and help each other through those darker moments and, or sadder moments. And that's where you start to go, oh man, this show's so good, <laughs> but it's funny too. So <laughs> and the US I highly recommend it. The has the best memes. Yes. It also has yeah. the best memes. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's not of this earth in my opinion. It's too good for this world, for the other shows that you can try to compare it to. Um, well, so that brings us to the end of our podcast. If that's all you've got time for, uh, you, we're done. You can sign off, but if you want to hang out, we're going to play a little game. Uh, I just discovered, uh, last or this weekend, <laughs> called Gartic Phone, G A R T I C, Gartic Phone. You can go to Gartic Phone. Thanks to our friends, friend Jules. Yeah, actually, Jules yeah. said he wanted to join us. If somebody could message yeah, him, yeah, should we bring him in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glenn, could you can you grab yeah, him we while need I explain for this yeah. what we're doing here? So uh, I'm gonna pull it up for anybody who's watching the excuse me the video feed. And let's see, where did I right here? Yeah. All right. So, yep, we've got all of us signed in here. We'll try to get Jules in here. And uh, while we're waiting for him, I'll explain basically what we're going to do. So the way this game works, we're just going to play the normal version. Uh, everybody has to write down a phrase. That's the first step of this game. You just write down a phrase, you know, maybe between like three and six words for the phrase, you know, somewhere in there. And then the next person tries to draw the phrase. Then the next person tries to guess the phrase from the drawing. Then the next person draws from the phrase that they got. And so at the oh, end, yeah. you're trying to see how closely the original image matches the uh, final image. And there's a lot of misunderstanding of people's drawings. So you get some really <laughs> goofy stuff. And when we did the live stream this weekend afterwards, we played this game. So it's not on the live stream but uh, uh, it was so fun. We thought, let's try a Valheim version. So the only rule that uh, I want to uh, throw out there is let's try to get everybody to use a phrase that is Valheim related. So something yeah. in the game related directly to something in Valheim or the players, you know, like we have some kind of memes in the game that deal with us and players in the game. But when you write your phrase, just somehow try to connect it to, to Valheim a little bit. And then that so way we'll see. Yeah. Does it Questions? have to be a phrase? It, can it be like an item or? Well, yeah, you can say whatever you want. You can, you can okay. say, um, like, 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 like throw, throw out an example. Trophy. Yes. Certling trophy. Okay. But, but, but what's more funny is Gwen threw a certling trophy at me trying to kill me. Something like that, right? Like a phrase or trying, trying to, uh, Gwen invited me to her house to smoke me out. <laughs> <laughs> when or, smoking again yeah so 
but it, I, if you yeah, say I something, was wondering that, where you were going with it. So I was yeah. like, Gwen invited me to to smoke. Yeah. What? You wanted you wanted a verb uh, attached to your your item. So because you don't want somebody to just draw a circling core, that's boring. What is somebody doing with that item, or what's happening in the item? Or you could just say circling cores are found in burial chambers, and then see what somebody tries to draw with that, right? Like, so that this way it's a phrase, they're trying to draw a scene, not just like an individual object, but they're trying to draw a scene of something happening or, or, you know, some scene that is static or whatever. Uh, so do we have jewels? Yes, yeah. we have jewels. We have Angel. jewels. Welcome, jewels. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, yeah, so Time jewels. Yeah, Jules is a, a modder. He works on the plan build mod and uh, Jotun and uh, amazing modder and just a, a fun person to play Valheim and games with. He's been on Gwen's live stream quite a few times now, his, her, her no map live streams. And he introduced us to this game. So thank you for that, Jules. My pleasure. It was it's a beautiful fun. present. <laughs> so much fun. It's hilarious. <laughs> And if you're wondering who the player named uh, Senor Ding Dong is, that is Jules. So nah. <laughs> you can nah, hold him nah, accountable. I don't know. Nah, I don't know who that is. Can't All right. tell. All right. So, so I'm gonna, while we play yeah. this, Jirok, you're, we, we can't watch your screen on Discord stream because we're oh. going to, that's going to be cheating, right? So we probably oh, should stop him. watching your stream. Right. So I'll, you're gonna I'll have that on screen. Yeah, I'll I'll switch um, this, I guess, or maybe I could just pull it off the screen. Should I just pull it off, and then I can? Pull oh, it we back should down. be should be busy no, looking you at should, the screen. You should stop of... the streaming of this car. Uh, that's what you should do. Oh right, I should just stop streaming in Discord. Good idea. Well, it depends stop. what you want to record. If you want to record, uh... well, I'm still recording, even though you guys can't see the stream. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I want the audience to see what I'm drawing and how I, how goofy it is <laughs> as I try to figure out how to draw these things. All right. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, that should be good right there. You guys can't see it anymore. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. So, uh, all right. Uh, let's click start. And it's pretty self explanatory. So, should be able to figure it out pretty quick. So, let's get started with Gardic Phone. And you you can talk while you're drawing and stuff. But yeah, go ahead mm -hmm. and write out your sentence. Let's see. What am I going to write? There we go. I wrote my phrase. Yep. While we wait for everybody else to write their phrase. So once you get your phrase in, at the top, it'll say uh, we have four of seven so far. Mine's sort of a trivia question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, so that ring you just heard is letting you know that time is almost out. Okay, and now we have to draw. All right. Let's see. The fun so stuff have... starts. Yeah, I wish we could copy and paste things so you can make duplicates of the things you draw. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> this looks. Are so we going to do prizes for best and worst drawings? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, my drawing is terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does not look like the thing that I'm supposed to be drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, my drawing in real life is much better. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. There's an oh, undo, Jules, too. Did you, and Jules, did you connect that new uh, the, the tablet? I, I, should, I should have. That, that's exactly what I thought right now. Damn it. I should have connected this. <laughs> to draw even better. <laughs> but the phrase I got is... Uh, it's, yeah. Not allowed to use words, right? <laughs> nope, you can't use words. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, time's almost up. Oh, no. I have so much detail I need to add. Yeah, you keep going. <laughs> Try to get it in there. Watch the clock up at the top. <laughs> It's so bad. It's so bad. Fun oh. fact is that you can try to erase the Gothic phone uh, logo in the background and it comes back every time. 
<laughs> Not that fun, uh, but it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to see that part when when the podcast is uploaded. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, I got a picture here. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now you what have is to type this? Now you have to type the phrase this, that you think describes this scene. <laughs> Whatever scene you got. Let's see. Watch the time cuz this one is uh... much faster. <laughs> Mine was mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Mine was mean. <laughs> That's the best. Okay, and then uh, now you gotta draw the the phrase now. Ooh. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> the real the real fun comes when we um, start to see all of the uh, the answers revealed. I'm doing this just for Gwen. You'll understand when you see it. <laughs> I need more time. Yeah, it's only halfway through. You're okay. <laughs> no, you can't need more time. Or, or I use two zeros. What else can I add? <laughs> oh, no. What? It's funny watching you all concentrate on your pictures here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can see. This is why I don't have my camera on when I'm building. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I got to describe this phrase. Oh my oh. goodness. <clears throat> what does that say? I can't see. I don't. I don't even. What? <laughs> Well, you just write something goofy if you can't quite figure out what it is. <laughs> I don't know if um, it's actually an English word, but I'm trying. Um. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I might be doing this too serious. <laughs> terrible. Gosh! <laughs> Oh, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't believe I got this one. Uh, this mouse is really not good for this sort of a uh, thing. <laughs> Jules, are you there? Oh, uh, you're talking to me. Yeah, sure, I'm there. <laughs> Jules I'm is highly, super focused. I'm, I'm He's too focused to talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, Garth isn't here. What's it? Uh, what's it? Uh, the picture of Garth. Yeah, we don't have Garth in the, in the uh, image here. Uh, I need to check out on Discord. Wait. <laughs> Better be fast. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no pressure. No pressure. It's fine. Can't possibly be what the original phrase was. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. <laughs> was like the easiest to draw although i feel like i've drawn the same image like three times in a row <laughs> what? Oh, oh, it's going on and on it's too too many what? people in here <laughs> what is this? oh this is i got this one this is a good drawing someone um, discovered really fancy features of the tool the drawing tool that i did not know about but i'm not sure what's going on <laughs> uh -huh. What is this? That's really fast. Oh yeah. It's the phrase. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wow. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I don't want to see. So now this is where we all top? laugh and talk and and have fun. This is the best part right here is to see how how it, how this goes. So here we go. Uh, start to start off with Jurok's album. So, oh, I guess it's me. So Jurok drew or wrote the phrase, Troll smashed my boat. <laughs> Dawn, Morning Darkness, wrote, drew. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Troll smashing my <laughs> boat. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Let's see what Digivaste thought that this picture was. 
troll breaking your shit. Oh, Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good for uh, artificial intelligent Vaste. (laughs) 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 And then Senor Ding Dong, Jules, he he saw this and he said, well, I'm going to draw this, of course. (laughs) <laughs> uh, yeah consistent that was yeah. what my comment yeah so bambi probably said troll trying to give me pizza or something let's see <laughs> <laughs> loki pestering vikings okay it's a different take yeah oh, okay i see why yeah went. yeah so, my admin so, character loki making a troll attack so gwen read that and she drew Oh, oh, Gwen. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Lo- Loki wears a deer trophy on his head. So, yeah, that looks just like him. <laughs> so, Crimson saw this picture and he wrote Loki chasing Vikings. <laughs> wow. Well done. <laughs> All right. So, it went from, it started off with Troll smashed my boat and then it, Loki chasing Vikings. So, uh, not too bad, not too far off. Yeah. Uh, okay, Crimson. He wrote Death Skeeto Sneak Attack. Oh, I Oh. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> so, oh, no, no, no. so yeah, so, okay, I see why this So was. Bambi drew. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cute little Death Skeeto and he's going, "Huh? Yeah. I don't know what's going on." Good. It's got a burglar mask on. See? <laughs> <laughs> Goggles. And then uh, Morning Darkness drew or uh, said that must be a th- that Skeeto sneak attack. Oh, wow. wow. The exact well phrase. Done. The exact <laughs> phrase. Not Go even Bambi. a little bit Go off. Bambi. Oh, wow. Ooh. The question marks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so when I saw that Skeeto sneak attack, I drew. That's oh, you know, that, attack. That, oh, not really sneak. Pretty, I, I forgot. Yeah, I didn't know how to do the sneak. Um, it's even got the. Um, the it's it's even got the, the authentic yeah, horn, yeah. horns on the helmet there. <laughs> 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 and then let's see what Senior Ding Dong thought that this said. Gwen being sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, because I'm, I'm computer. I get it. I read between the lines, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. So, so Gwen <laughs> being sneaky, <laughs> Digivaste read that and he said, well, I'm going to draw this. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. That's uh, grim. It, she's in the dark first off, What's so she's being that? sneaky. And there's a lot of smoke like, around. White cape apron. <laughs> so you know, I saw that and I was like, "Could it be?" No, no way. This is abstract art. How do you interpret that? Well, Gwen, like, let's see. Let's see how you interpreted it. Wait, wait. Are the gray circles smoke? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah I saw them as smoke. Not doing a bonfire again. Please, Gwen. Oh. No, please. And, and it's not oh. The honey, you have the honey in your phone. I love it that Gwen was the one who got this image. Yeah, so, well, I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how you described it, Gwen. So Gwen saw this and she said, well, of course, that is old man falls through portal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old man with a beard. I have no idea what to do with that. <laughs> oh, I love your interpretation. So it started off death skeeto sneak attack, oh. and it ended up with old man falls through portal. <laughs> it, it was going so well until Jules decided to put Gwen in it, and then yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what do we got next. Oh, oh Gwen. Mm. So Gwen sat down and she thought, giant tick invasion. Ooh, you're, you're doing a little. What you telling? Oh my God, Jules again! Going off the rails all the way. <laughs> so, so Jules saw that, and let's see what he th- how what he thought to draw. Again, I tried to. Um, <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's on the clock, and they go invasion. And they all like wow. It's so it's it, the like clocks. clocks. <laughs> to, yeah, yeah, to me, it looks like a bunch clocks. of clocks going to yeah, out to attack like somebody. Clocks, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's clock having the ticks on it, and they go. Rah. 
It's a, I didn't it's know a, how to respond to this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's Gwen, see. what did you what did you think of the interpretation of your phrase? Um, creative for sure. Um, <laughs> Fox do yeah. tick. They go tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jules. <laughs> okay. So Bambi saw this and she says, "Well, of course, that is obviously a raid." Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. That's, that's a reasonable interpretation. Yeah. And I like yeah. how it's a callback to what it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're, we're getting back to an invasion, Crimson. right? Yeah. What does what Crimson say? Crimson, he drew. Oh. <laughs> that's a troll raid. That's a very good drawing. Yeah. That's a troll <laughs> raid. What, what is the second troll well. holding? You know what comes next? You rock. Oh, God. You rock. That was you. <laughs> Uh, uh, Crimson, what, what's the second troll holding? Is that a rock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a rock yeah. and a club, right? Yeah. Perfect. Well, so I saw this, and, you know, sometimes you want to write something funny, not accurate. <laughs> and so I saw that, and I wrote, well, troll offers chocolate to Viking. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> right? Uh, right? It's all like, right. Are we going to yes, be trolling? Uh -huh. We're gonna be yep. trolling next round. Yeah. It's a troll I feel, post. I, feel like I drew a lot of trolls. This, this. yeah. Okay. okay, so troll offers chocolate to Viking, and Morning Darkness says, "Oh, well, I, that's easy. Here's troll <laughs> 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 offering chocolate." I to love the Viking. hair. I love the haircut. Uh, Me too. No, no. <laughs> and the and, and the armpit uh, hair as well. No, that's the chest hair. That's the chest yeah. hair. Okay. <laughs> That's obviously a chocolate bar. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Let's see what Digi Vaste thought it was, though. Taming a troll. Tame troll. Oh, <laughs> okay. good or one. Troll. Good one. Well, yeah, if you have a tame troll, it's possible that it would come over and offer you chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was any good tame troll would do. Mm -hmm. so we went from invasion to tame troll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What do we got no. next? Oh, Digi Vaste. No. So Digivaste thought to a wolf pack is chasing you. Ooh. I, want, I wanted to make you guys <laughs> draw a lot. And then <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, I, how, I need to draw a bunch of these in a short amount of time. So I drew. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like horses or I mean, little dogs. Right. I don't know. Yeah, they look like little dogs. Yeah, I can see where all of these went wrong. There's one common denominator. <laughs> so senior ding dong <laughs> senior ding dong goes well that's obviously ichthyr is lazy <laughs> yeah, it's just three of them oh, oh, why? oh no it gets better wait wait how, how why ichthyr and why is it called lazy how did you how did you get that Ictir is uh, trying to rally the creatures of the forest, but uh, it's just three of them. So uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I see. Oh. I see. Mm -hmm, makes sense. Oh wow, there's a lot you have to read into that. <laughs> I, I, I want to see where this is going. I love. I love. My what face next. got the worst so getting... far from the study. Got worse. <laughs> this is getting way worse. Yeah. Okay. Get worse, baby. Yep. That on me. So much worse. <laughs> yeah, so I do. So Gwen read Ichthyr is lazy, and she says, well, of course I'm going to draw. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can't see it. Cannot see it. The, oh. All the camera. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like Ichthyr. Like it's having, having a, a nap. It's a bit lazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what Ichthyr looked like when he uh, uh -huh. really the uh, sub-creature of the forest. Like, yeah, yeah, you go, you go. I don't mind, so. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this to me looks like Bambi's gazing up at the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I've, I've drawn the red eye. The yeah, red let's, eye. Like, let's see it. who names this then... as Bambi <laughs> or not. Like, oh, okay. no. Crimson saw the, this um, thing here on the ground great. and he goes, Honestly. well, that's, that's obviously <laughs> Bambi sunbathing. See, I told you. <laughs> I specifically did the little electrical things thinking, oh, if the uh, the eyes are red and there's like yeah. little electric things coming out, they're going to get that it's not Bambi. But well, no. Yeah. But oh. then Bambi gets it next. Oh, yeah. Bambi. Yep. What it, You had to draw your, your, your own Bambi sunbathing and she yeah. drew. Oh, there you go. Even got the sun. 
is, oh, no. yeah. is that an altar? Is that on the <laughs> on the Ecte altar? <laughs> I, I tried to make like 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 something I I was laying on. So like yeah, a beach blanket. But I saw yeah. that and I interpreted it so different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, Morning Darkness saw this and she says, well, that's obviously a deer drowning in the river. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid the dead deer situ situation <laughs> with that blanket. <laughs> oh, Bambi, you drew a deer drowning. <laughs> oh, please. I, this is the worst so far. I, I, I don't think you can get worse. <laughs> Well, we started off with a wolf pack is chasing pack. you, and it ended up in a deer drowning in a river. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wow. All right, let's see what we got. I think we have one more. Oh, oh morning darkness. She says, well, more. they are called the soulless ones. Wow. I don't even know what the soulless ones are. The Draugr. No. Yeah. Which one? Oh, so one of the other uh, dead, the, the wraith. How do you not know this, Jirog? This is one of the 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 um rune stones. Stones. Because oh, I haven't okay. done that one yet. <laughs> gray dwarves. Oh, the gray dwarves. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? The gray dwarves oh. are known as the soulless okay. ones. I was being. So, uh oh, this is worse. I don't think mm -hmm. we're gonna get any gray yeah. dwarfs in this picture. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah, no gray dwarves there. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> it is a nice picture. I, I guess. <laughs> no, this is a start. It's getting worse <laughs> because I got it after this. <laughs> so yeah, I don't skeletons. even remember anything like that. So oh no, okay, I think I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so skeletons, yeah, they, they they could be without a soul. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, pretty good guess. So well, I saw this and I thought, backstab the Viking with a bow. <laughs> 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 I, for some reason, they didn't register as skeletons to me. <laughs> They're so when awesome. again. Wow! Uh, but yeah, now this that I see it, now that I have back. the knowledge, I, I, yep, they look like skeletons. Now that I know that they were supposed to be soulless ones. So, Digivaste drew. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Are you petting his back with a feather? <laughs> 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 little massage, little feather massage. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah, oh yeah, I tried to tickle with a feather. <laughs> well, let's see what Gwen Gwen saw that and she wrote, Ooh, Vastai backstabbing Gorth. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, wow. That's where it came because from. Gorth, because yeah. Gorth with the bow. Yeah. I Gorth. saw a Viking with a bow. I was like, oh, that must be Gorth. No, yep. oh, it's something you want to do. Mm hmm. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, this is getting worse. What and then it? Senior Ding Dong, a.k.a. Jules, said, oh, well, here's the picture. Oh, gosh. Versus oh. Wow, well, no. I didn't get that one. Yeah, skeleton <laughs> versus the, the target. Yeah, avatars. Loud? What's I wrong? I see. It's the well, Discord avatars. Mm. You'll well, see it going. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the Discord avatars, and uh, it's rear. It should be rip. But uh, ah, yeah. okay. Well, <laughs> can't go off the mouse. <laughs> well, let's see how Bambi interpreted. She saw this and she says, "Well, this is an easy one. This is obviously sword better than knife." Sorry, <laughs> 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 and we started with what? They are the called soul the soulless <laughs> ones, and yeah, that and that it, equates to sword <laughs> is better than knife. <laughs> and it, it ended with what uh, they and. Uh, Yes, and, and Gors, why? Yeah. Gorth, Gorth, yes. Right, let's see, do we have? So what oh, you're telling have... me is that Vashti and Gorth are the soulless ones. Got it. I will remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Read between the lines, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually true. <laughs> and then I so, think the worst. So we are cool with that. All right. So next, next up, we have Bambi, and she said. Yeah. Troll in the dungeon. Ooh, troll in the oh, dungeon. Oh, I see where this goes. I sorry, a bit of, sorry, a bit of Harry Potter. I couldn't couldn't leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> and troll in the dungeon. So yeah. Gwen says, well, I'm going to draw this. Ooh, wow. wow. Gwen, look at all that detail. That looks great. Like the hair over the crotch. 
Yeah. 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 I like the little angry you face you got you know, on him. Like... Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Crimson I saw this. So inferior. And he said, Angry troll throwing you out of cave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Oh. oh, no. no. And then MD says, well, then in that case, I'm going to draw this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it looks like the no, troll's going to throw you through a portal or something. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. into the cave. Or into or the cave. Or smash you against the wall. I don't know. Yeah. Bit, uh, bit. Or maybe it gets worse. Neck. Oh, I'm maybe, sure it gets worse. Maybe the troll is going to introduce you to a giant egg for breakfast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please come eat breakfast with me. I have giant eggs. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Reconnecting. No. Reconnect. You have lost connection to the server attempting to reconnect. So Crimson, you're in charge now. You got if you can click show. Troll kidnap Troll you. Kidnap you. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good <laughs> saying for for troll kidnapping you. Spelled yeah. a little w- no, awkwardly. What does Jirok say? What does Jirok yeah. draw? Well, yeah, I saw that, so I did. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good Great. troll. Yeah. Oh, wait. Great. I like. How I like that. Uh, it's more like a loincloth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't well, take. Do- <laughs> Jules, you saw that, and you and you probably said, "Oh, <laughs> troll has what?" Let's see. Aww. Oh, interracial love. love. <laughs> <laughs> you you are not Aww. incorrect there in, in that picture. It, it, yeah, the the exclamation mark threw me a little bit off, but uh, I got it. Oh <laughs> dear. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see. Do we, are we, we have anything next? What's up next? Yeah, we have one more, I think. Okay. Yeah. You. Oh, Jules. So yeah. Uh-oh. Let me pull this. <laughs> oh, no. I think at the <laughs> well, not, this not, turned out bad. <laughs> not so quite you have Valheim. To draw yourself first. Yes. It's supposed to be Valheim. Yes, Jules, you're breaking the rules. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. then nobody, get it out, get it out. told me. Before oh, I, yeah. I dropped in too late for that. Oh, but that's right. That's stuff. right. <laughs> okay, so what did Vaste draw when he had to draw himself? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of my line. Right. Yeah, that's his guitar in the background, his guitar poster. Oh, I see yeah. where this goes. Yes, okay. me too. <laughs> I still don't. Yeah, because I didn't see this series. Gwen? See. What did Gwen draw? Frankie Vaste on Podheim. <laughs> Yeah, he he was he was cranky today, wasn't he? He looks a bit cranky. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. Look at, look at the look face. at how cranky look he the looks. Face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't. I... Uh, yeah, look at that face. That is a cranky face. Yes, that's it very is? cranky. Sorry, Vaste, for oh, the next picture. Oh, it gets better. Gets better. Oh no. So Bambi drew. <laughs> <laughs> Cranky Vaste on Podheim. I just gave you, I just gave you the That's sweet nice. eyes. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Uh, but uh, so, morning when you saw this, of course you thought Cranky Vaste on Podheim, right? No. <laughs> if we get the Vaste part out, it's better. Sad Viking being chased by a growth. <laughs> That's why I got this next. (laughs) 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 Sad Viking, yes. Chased by a growth. A a mini growth on the shoulder. Yeah, it's a it's a growth behind him chasing him. (laughs) No, I totally get it. Morning. Now I know why when it got to me how we got there. (laughs) 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 Let's see. So Crimson drew. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. And he's crying too. Sad yeah. Viking being yeah. chased by a growth. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, growth that grow. Well, when, when oh, I saw God. this picture, there was only oh, no. one obvious answer. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the growth is sad because oh. you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, the growth is sad? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
I, I don't. I uh, imagine tears on the growth. <laughs> So what was our first so sentence again? I already growth. forgot. Oh yeah. <laughs> what, what was our first sentence, uh, Crimson? It was uh Ashley staring at the screen. Yeah. And we, <laughs> and we ended up with <laughs> Growth is sad because yep. you're leaving. And with uh, that, I need to leave. Yeah. Aww. Okay. Well, this has been an awesome podcast, everyone. Thank you for joining me this week. Thanks thank for having you. us. It was great yes, fun. Thanks, thanks for, for having us. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Until next week, have fun out there. Thank you for listening to Podheim, Jirox Valheim podcast. We have new episodes coming out every Friday. And if you enjoyed listening, please support us by subscribing to the podcast on your favorite platform and leave us a rating and a review to help more Vikings find us. We also have a Patreon with perks for supporters like behind the scenes discussions, exclusive content and segments that are edited out of the main podcast. And if you'd like to join our friendly Discord community, we have more than a thousand people there. Just go to discord.gg slash the Viking. If you'd like to play on my Valheim servers, just go to my website at jirokthevikingcom and submit an application. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters, some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers, links can be found in the description below. Skull!